Bondsman Voss worked his armager's controls, slowing the Helverin strides as he rounded the corner of the ruined manufacturum. Gnarled trees and scrubby growth scraped at his steed's hull as he forged a path through the thicket and emerged at the end of the processional of heroes. Some three hundred yards ahead lay the heretic's left flank, traitor militia and artillery tanks dug in behind prepared barricades. They were firing furiously, directing a massive weight of fire against the Hawkshroud knights, trying to forge a path up conveyance route beta. Bondsman Keeler's Helverin appeared through the undergrowth to Voss's rear. The two armager pilots flashed confirmation runes to one another via their data manifolds. Choral designators chimed through Voss's cockpit. Lady Serenica, voxed Voss. We are in position, my lady. We await your command. Have the heretics seen you, bondsman? came the haughty voice of his bond liege. Negative, my lady, said Voss. The traitors are too busy firing at your lance to watch their flanks. Serenica didn't deign to reply vocally. Instead, Voss felt a tingle through his helm mechanicum, and an overriding desire to attack at once rose within his mind. This was his lady's imperative, he knew, but it felt like his own, an appealing notion synonymous with honour through fealty. Accelerating his knight to a purposeful stride, Voss flipped his targeters into place and roused the spirits of his autocannons. It was time to do his duty. Nimble and responsive, Armager warglaves loped towards the enemy with purposeful strides. On one arm they wheeled fearsome reaper chain cleavers, their adamantium teeth whirring, their actuator motors roaring. On the other arm they bear menacing thermal spears, bulky melter weapons that are essentially stripped down equivalents of the knight errant's thermal cannon. A single shot from such a weapon can vaporize even the most heavily protected combatant, melt through the wall of a bunker, or reduce a battle tank to a molten wreck. Atop their carapace, each warglaive also carries a heavy stubber for reaping infantry, or else a melter gun that augments their already fearsome anti-armor capabilities. Though they are the lightest class of Imperial Knight regularly deployed to the battlefields of the 41st millennium, each armager is still an imposing war engine capable of butchering entire squads. They possess exceptional speed, able to outpace most battle tanks and transport vehicles when moving at a flat-out run, and react almost as quickly as a flesh-and-blood warrior. Moreover, to compensate for their comparatively smaller size, armager-class knights typically hunt in packs of two or three. In the case of warglaives, this involves rapidly outflanking and encircling their quarry like wolves on the prowl, before closing in on a rune-transmitted signal to trap and slaughter the enemy. Unusually for knights, armagers are not fitted with a full throne mechanicum, Instead, they are controlled using a more compact device known as a helm mechanicum. Placed upon the head and connected via prefrontal sockets to the pilot's cerebrum, these machines do not require a full becoming ritual in order for neural interfacing to be successful. For this reason, the prestige of piloting an armager is significantly less than that attached to sitting a fully-fledged throne mechanicum. This is compounded by the fact that, while armagers can operate independently, it is traditional for their helm's mechanicum to be neurally slaved to the command impulses of a larger knight, rendering them subordinate. To accept such mental serfdom is to possess the rank of bondsman, and while this is certainly no mark of dishonor, it is far from glorious. The armager Helverin is a fast-moving weapons platform designed to lay down blistering hails of heavy fire while running rings around the enemy's forces. In place of the close-ranged armaments of the warglaive, each Helverin bears a pair of armager autocannons, capable of firing hundreds of armor-piercing shells per minute. Even a single such weapon can swiftly whittle down infantry ranks or shred lightly armored vehicles, with Helverins mounting two of these formidable weapons each, and hunting in packs up to three knights strong. Their withering fusillades can rapidly break an army's flank or blunt the foe's assault well before it can hit home. Helverins also mount carapace weaponry in the same fashion as warglaves. Many favor heavy stubbers for their simple application in adding to the Helverin's already formidable weight of fire. However, other bondsmen will choose, or have their betters choose for them, to mount carapace melter guns on their Helverins, thus providing them with short-range punch should the enemy's armor or elite infantry move in too close. For many armager pilots, the mental imperatives transmitted through their neural bonds can feel unnatural and invasive. It is common for new pilots to feel a sense of resentment or upset at having their desires and opinions directed remotely, 
while those without the requisite mental fortitude may even lose their grip on their sense of self. More than one free blade has been born from such feelings, the armager pilot rebelling and fleeing rather than enduring the mental dominance of another. It is for this reason that many armager pilots train at the side of a night preceptor, before assuming their duties alongside their bond liege. The dutiful and heroic example set by the knight's preceptor inspires armager pilots to accept their subservience to such obvious champions of the Imperium, and also plants within their minds a firm aspiration to do their duty and to live up to the example set for them. Even as the knight's preceptor are conditioning the armager pilots, they are also busy assessing their abilities. Most bondsmen begin piloting from the helm of a warglaive, for its weapons and role are both relatively straightforward. Those who demonstrate a cool nerve and a marksman's eye are soon recommended by the knight preceptor for promotion to a helverin. Helverin packs are able to serve a number of strategic roles upon the field of battle. From laying down enfilading fire and forcing dug-in enemies from their positions, to guarding a knight army's flanks from aircraft and light armor, to escort or scouting missions in hostile territory, armager helverins are versatile and highly destructive war engines. Small wonder that they are popular throughout both Imperial and Adeptus Mechanicus noble houses, and relied upon heavily to support their larger compatriots at war. Through faith, acceptance. Through acceptance, obedience. Through obedience, honor. Through honor, chivalry. Through chivalry, glory eternal. The Bondsman's Motto